In this example, we're going to show how you can pick different axes of rotation on your hinge components, and that changes the way that anything attached to the hinge is going to be manipulated. In this first example, we have this pipe and then a hinge and another pipe. Now notice that the direction of rotation is in this X direction on the pipe itself. So what this is going to do is have it rotate about its axis, and we're gonna use that direction. Now that's because in the orientation we're using X and we've defined that X direction to be pointing this way. In this example, we have the same type of attachment and it's rotating about the same direction, but we've picked a different vector for the axis. In this case, we've picked Y. And that means that it's going to rotate about this direction, but it's building the component along this X axis. So if we come to motion, Notice that now, this is a different kind of rotation. In the third example, notice we have a pipe just pointing off in space, but we are using, again, this y-axis as our reference. Now, we can choose x, and it will rotate about that point. If we choose y, we're now rotating about that y-axis. And if we decide to choose z, now we're rotating about that z-axis. But notice that the orientation of the hinge isn't changing. All that's changing is which of these three axes we're choosing as our axis of rotation.